Then Salutations YouTube, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today in Anaheim, California. We're at the Goodwill, ready to go inside and see what we can find. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, and vlogs, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button so that you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram, it's Hadrian, it's about here. And check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's end the story now and check it out because I have a good feeling about today. Let's go see what they have. Oh, also, I believe all Halloween decorations are half off and today's the day before Halloween so I can still get stuff to use for tomorrow. So we'll see what they have. Oh my gosh, there's a unicorn chia pet. I didn't know they even made unicorn chia pets. Do I need a unicorn chia pet? It's ten dollars. How cute is this? It's like a little chef or something. You can use it as a planter since the top is missing. But I think I'm totally gonna get the unicorn chia pet. I don't know. We'll see. I opened it up to look inside to see if it was broken or anything. Didn't look damaged. So I'm gonna take it home. Bro, unicorn. This is pretty. This is like a nice little container. I mean, it's missing the top, but again, use it as a vase or something. But that's pretty cute. Let's see what else we can find. Blanket? Oh, you know what? I'm looking for curtains. We're gonna have to go over there later to, um, okay. where they keep like the pillows and okay. stuff and see if I can find any curtains these are really pretty so are these pillows now for the plates a horse of course I'm like oh my gosh a horse okay Peter and be strong let's look at these little floral plates these are ooh from Sir La Tob these are pretty. <gasps> Can you just imagine if they had like a big plate like this? Ooh, these are really pretty too, actually. Look at that. Fine China, Don Lin, made in Japan. These are so pretty. These are really nice too. Imagine like if you had like these plates with like maybe like a slightly bigger, or even just that. That's actually really cute, right? Like that's fun. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, look, more floral plates. You guys, my inner grandma is just like very happy right now. Ooh, and these are Syracuse. Syracuse plates are, I don't want to say collectible, maybe they are, but I know that a lot of them are very expensive. I love these like little one off plates, they're so fun. But I already have like, a good collection of like those little one off plates like that. Um, but I just think that plates are like really pretty and use them as like little salad plates or something. Oh, this is the matching thing. How cute are these Folgers mugs? They look like they're vintage. And I think I see definitely two of them. How cute is this M mug? This is definitely anthropology. Oh, it's not cracked. I thought it was cracked, but it just looks to be dirty. Looking through the backpacks really quickly. That Puma backpack, that was like $17, I think. Oh, look at this. Oh, let's go look for curtains. Curtains, curtains, curtains. Wow, look at those chairs. This desk is still here. They have a bunch of carpets right now too, actually. Oh, this one is so fun. I love the texture on it, yeah? That's cool. Okay, curtains. I didn't show you guys this sooner because I was like looking at them already, but I have, I found four panels of curtains and I needed these for the Philippines for our condo because I wanted to get some extra curtains. These are so cute. They're like linen with like this gray stitching, which is perfect because the sofa we have is gray. This is a darker gray, but um, I feel like the contrast would be totally fine and they're not next to the sofa anyway, so perfect. Let's got everything inside the car. Let's go home. I'll show you guys what I got. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today because we got some pretty good 
stuff. Um, I did end up getting that carpet, which I will insert a thing right here if I remember. But I did get the carpet. It's, um, I think it's going to be perfect for the condo in the Philippines. Um, it's not too big that it's going to be really hard to transport. Um, so I think we're going to be good. I think it's like an 8. It's like an 8 by 5 carpet, I believe, is the size, which I think is going to be good for this in front of the sofa. Just don't want anything like too crazy large because it's really hard to get that into like a box to mail or to like send out. Um, so did get that. I think that one was, I think it was $35. So not too bad. I believe it was $70 at Target full price. So it's kind of give and take with those things sometimes because sometimes you can get it at a better discount when it goes on sale at Target. But um, yeah. You, you have to be able to actually make it to Target to find those items. And I try not to go to Target too much because then I always end up buying, like, stuff that I don't need. And that already happens at the Goodwill. So, we've got to put the brakes on that. But that, I think that carpet's going to be really great. And I think it's definitely worth the $35. And it's um, an outdoor carpet, so it's going to be easy to clean. And hopefully, it'll be easy to pack up. Because um, that, that'll be the largest carpet I have tried to transport to the Philippines. So, let's see how small I can get it into a box. Anyway, so that's that. Let me know if any of you guys are like that too. Uh, I know there's a lot of um, Filipinos out there that send boxes to the Philippines, buy, like buy-in boxes, and um, they're definitely the best. I love filling them up. It's so much fun. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, um, Le it's like Legos. It's like uh, Tetris, but like in a box in real life. Um, the next thing I, I got here is I did get these, um, the curtains. So I got one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm hoping that they're all the same lengths because Hadrian did not check. Hadrian is also talking to him about himself in the third person. Um, I'm thinking that they're all the same size. Oh, this one's 108. Uh, I hope. I'm like, <laughs> so trying to look while I'm, while I'm filming this video. You guys are probably so mad at me. Um, anyway, I'm thinking that they're all 108. They seem to be all the same size, so, um, we're just gonna cross our fingers. Uh, oh, ooh, this one is only 95 inches, but that's okay if the other ones are 108 and this one is 95, because there's, a, like, one, like, short window, so that's, that's totally fine. Um, I'm thinking that the rest of these are all the same size, though, because they all came in, like, these same little plastic containers. I'm gonna check that later on and then cry about it if they're all different. But, um, I'm hoping that they're all the same. That's, like, what I'm hoping for. Let's cross our fingers and pray a little prayer. Uh, but those would be perfect also in the condo. Uh, we already have a set of curtains there, but... If, like, those need to get washed or something, like, then you can put these up. And these are really nice. They're, like, an off-white kind of color. They're pretty white, but it's, like, a natural kind of white, so it has a little bit of color in it. And then it has this cool, like, gray border, which I think is really great. Because it plays off the gray in the carpet, and it also matches the sofa that we have there right now. So, this is great. I love that for us. Oh, and it also matches that little ottoman bench thing that I got recently as well and I'm gonna try and bring that to the Philippines but I don't know if it's going to work out because it's gonna take up a lot of space in the box so um I don't know we shall see if that's actually gonna make it to the Philippines or whether or not it's just gonna stay here because I did want to use it so I keep fidgeting with my hair I just got a haircut today and like I feel like I'm still getting used to it um the ottoman the ottoman were uh yeah so it may or may not be going to the Philippines I'm not too sure just because it's so like a bulky that is going to take up a good chunk of space but it's a really cute ottoman and it'd be really nice to be able to put up your feet on something in the condo because we don't have a coffee table there yet and it would be nice just like have it like by the sofa yeah man we need to get furniture up in there um <laughs> the next thing i got is i did get the chia pet unicorn i you know what i couldn't 
passed it up. I've never had a Chia Pet before and I remember as a child I really really wanted a Chia Pet for some reason and Chia Pets when I was young were like really popular and I feel like everyone had a Chia Pet and I was like the only one that did it. I don't know why um but I've never seen the unicorn Chia Pet. So this is making me all sorts of happy and excited. So I'm really, really hoping that this thing works. And, um, yeah. So, cross your fingers for me. Say a little prayer. Let's figure out a name for him. Because we're going to try and grow this. Which I am so excited about. You guys have no idea. This one was $10. It was a little expensive, but I feel like... How much are Chia Pets anyway, normally? I don't know. Usually these are half the price of what they are normally, so then this would have been normally $20, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, Unicorn Chia Pet. Let me know if anyone, if any of you guys have ever seen a Unicorn Chia I don't know how I've never seen it until now. I feel like I always see Chia Pet things all the time when I go to the store, but I've never seen a Unicorn, so that just made me really excited that I saw one at the Goodwill, so it was just, like, very serendipitous. Um, then I did get these Folgers, Chris, Folgers coffee mugs. Uh, I remember growing up, listening and seeing this commercial on TV. And I remember for the longest time when I was little, I really wanted to drink this coffee because it was like, The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. I was just like go walk around the house singing that. I'm sorry if I like like made your eardrums explode. But yeah, because like my mom would be like, "Why do you want to drink that? Why do you want to drink coffee?" I'm like, "Because they said it's the best part of waking up, and I wanna and I wanna wake up happy." <laughs> so I don't know. I was ridiculous, but um, I really want to just like imagine. Like I feel like um, this happened when I was little. Oh, it did happen when I was little, but it was back when. Um, I still had like a Filipino accent like speaking English because um, it was like around the time when we first came here and I was still little and I was still like kind of learning. I think by then I was speaking English like fluently but I still kind of had a little accent because my like my first language was um, Tagalog so um, but I, I'll never forget like really wanting Folgers coffee especially because this is the coffee my dad drank and Crazy enough, it's the coffee he still drinks to this day. It's his favorite coffee. This is the coffee that he prefers. And um, when I started kind of like drinking coffee, this was literally the first coffee I have ever tasted. And I still, I still also love it. Though I don't drink coffee as much as I used to. And this is just a really long, drawn out story. I, sh I could talk about this for hours. So anyway, in conclusion, I did buy these two cups. They are vintage too. I don't know from what year they were made, but... Uh, I saw a bunch of Folgers crystal or Folgers coffee cups on eBay and stuff, and I was like, "This is pretty cool." And even if no one wants them, I'll still like them. So I'm gonna put them in the shop and see if anyone does like them. Uh, but despite and despite that, I'm still gonna enjoy them because I think they're really cool. So um, I actually might even just keep them and be like, "Dad, look what I got you." <laughs> but uh, that is. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today, going to the store, checking out what they had. Um, I'm really excited about that carpet. I'll definitely update you guys on how the carpet goes. And I'll also update you guys on whether or not all these um, curtains are the same size. I hope at least four of them are. Actually, well, I don't really care to, well, as long as two of, well, they have to, it's either 50-50. So as long as like one of them, no, oh, it would be really... No, as long as they have two pairs each. That's like, it has obviously has to have at least two pairs each, right? So, it's okay, because they're all going to be in different rooms. <laughs> I'm like trying to justify it. Okay, I'm done. Good night. Oh, good night for me, because it's nighttime, and I'm going to work on some videos. Uh, but I love you guys so much. hope you guys um, had a beautiful, wonderful, exciting Halloween. Um, let me know what you guys did for Halloween down below in the comments. I know we're... Uh, the kids are going to go trick-or-treating. 
Um, I think I'm going to make a little setup in the front of the house, depending on the state of the air, because the, the fires have just been really crazy. There's actually just a fire. I didn't even know this, because I, I, w I went out today, but I went in the opposite direction of where the fire was. Um, and then when I was coming back home, the traffic was so intense, and it's because they, they closed the freeway, the other freeway that goes back to my house from where I went, because there was a fire on the side of the freeway. And it was crazy. My mom sent me pictures. She's like, oh my gosh, where are you? There's a fire. And I was like, oh my god, I'm not there. So, like, that was fortunate, but it was still very intense. So, uh, for everyone that's being affected by the fires, my heart goes out to you. Let's send some, like, prayers and positive energy to everyone being affected by them. Um, and hope that the fires just end very soon. Because it has just been so crazy here recently. And I, I just feel for all these people, especially, like, um... The fires over by, um, by the Getty. So many people had to evacuate right there. And the Getty, it, like, I, yeah, the Getty is such an amazing place, too. And to just lose all that art would be devastating. And people's homes that are right there, it's just like... <sighs> anyway, thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out tomorrow's new video. It goes up at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all then. Bye! Every time I'm here looking at the crystal, I'm always hoping that I'm going to find some sort of Tiffany something or other. And recently I have actually gotten pretty lucky with finding Tiffany because I did just find two pieces. Um, I don't know how that happened. It was very, very lucky. I was super duper excited. I can't believe it. This guy makes the best